The upgrade to IntelliCAD 7 in Microsurvey CAD 2021 um, comes with a new feature called Dynamic Mode that Autodesk users would be familiar with. What, uh, what this means is if I am, for example, running my line command, what we'll see is any um, uh, command line options actually appear as floating dialogues near where the cursor is. And so what you'll notice here is I've started a line command and I'm just graphically indicating the length and uh, the angle of it. And you can see those get updated on the screen. If I wanted to manually input either an angle or a length, then you'll notice how there's an icon with a little arrow on it. And that's just an indication to me that I can hit my arrow keys on my keyboard. And here I can cycle through and let's say I want to type in a length. And let's imagine I would like to make this 100. So as I'm typing, we can see that the uh, length appears up in the command line. And then if I wanted to also specify the angle, I could just type that. So let's say it's 35 degrees. That would be counterclockwise from east in this case. And there I've drawn the line. And uh, so um, that setting is turned on by default, although if you prefer to use the old command line or if you find uh, uh, an option that doesn't work with the command line, here's how you can set that variable. So the variable is dine mode. If you just type that in, you'll find that you have options to set it from 1, 2, 3, and 0. If you set it to 0, notice how I'm typing it. Um, and I can see it on the screen where it is, and I hit enter. Now I've essentially turned uh, the command line behavior back to the way it was with the last release of IntelliCAD. Um, all of my interactions happen in the command line. Here I'm telling it what I want the angle to be, and so forth. And here I'll escape this. So I'll also uh, show you some of the other options. Dying mode, if we set it to one, um, these will give you a variety of different types of dis displays. So here we can see it doesn't give us the graphical indication of the angle and the direction. I'll do dine mode and we'll set it to two and start drawing a line. And I think this one gives us, at least with the line command, it doesn't look any different from the dine mode three option. And then finally, Dine mode, setting it to three. Now we're back to the way um, microsurvey was when you first installed it. And so again, you can see where you can use your uh, arrow key and your keyboard to indicate different input options. And uh, essentially the command line input happens right on the drawing screen now. There, that's the dyn mode or the dynamic mode feature and how you can change some of the options to change its behavior. Thanks for following.